Hello there everyone and welcome back to Castle Redux. I'm your host, totally not using cons commands here at this point anymore. Uh when Lover of Sun Ra, dude. But right now, Mexico do be looking a bit, well, invasive, and not only for this one we need cons commands, but you never know. They have a planet economy, head of intelligence, social resistance, draconian revisionism. Wow. Uh professional army, which is good for them. Uh Soladarderos. Oh, I can't speak Hispanic, no Spanish. Can't speak Hispanic. Maybe I'm learning a little bit. Aerodome expansions, quite interesting. But let's see what we can do, and uh, hopefully, and we we do okay. Also, I think I did use cons commands for a little bit of manpower. I think I'm pretty sure I did. So apologies at this point in the campaign. There's really much not much we can really do without cheating. I mean, in all honesty, our core population is still just a black belt. I mean, having no resistance in other parts of the South is very nice. Don't get me wrong, but like, like it's really bad. And we did take up the PSA, and I just, the only reason we're taking out Mexico is because I want all of the actual United States here. Not having Texas kind of sucks, so yeah. It really sucks. So, apologize for us using cons commands. I know some of you don't like it, and I don't like it either, but at this point, I, I'm not sure what else we can do about it. So, and besides, this kind of this is definitely a meme path, but it's definitely really fun learning about like Sun Ra. Like he's a real, he was a real dude. Also, I'll probably just use Cons Command just annex Somalia. Just so we have some sort of landing base, so we can, then we can go to Abyssinia, then we can go to uh, the Sultan of Egypt, and then take out the rest of Africa. Because, oh, Brazil exploded. Holy crap. Um, there's, there's not much else we can really do about it. I want to be as least cheaty as possible, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Carrier Fighter 2s, Carrier Number Bomber 2s, that'd be good to do as well. Uh, okay, can go all the way to the bottom, because we gotta get all this other stuff done too. Go 2, go 2, go uh, 2. That'd be nice. All I want was Texas. That's all I wanted, man. Oh. Well, that's not good. Um, we have a couple naval bombers here, so. Yeah, I kind of wish you could... I really wish you could get more population here. Like, it makes sense that we get the black area, the black belt as cores, but... Are there not quite a significant portion of, like, the majority... Not majority, but, like, a good portion of the population in the other parts of the south? Like, Louisiana, where it's pretty African-American. Even, like, Tennessee, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. Not every place has a large population of African-Americans, but, like... Some parts do. Some parts actually have a lot. But then again, I could be completely dead wrong. You know, who knows? I don't. I obviously don't know, but, you know, whatever. Uh, 56,000 losses, which is actually not too bad. And I've not used any sort of consequence for this stuff so far. But I'm not ruling it out. Also, we still own Liberia, and we're just kind of hanging out down there. Having a good old time. Watching the Entente just kind of hang out down there too. Which is why we have to use Consequence, because there's no way we can take out this part of the Entente, as well as this part of the Entente. Um, and basically two front war. The Third International is down there too, whatever. Istanbul, uh, Greece is in the Entente, they're fighting over there too. Really not much has happened. I guess the Germans have gotten slightly closer to Verdun, but... Yeah, no nothing's happening. So... Yeah. And we do have to take out New England as well, so that kind of is going on. Shuck, shuck, shuck. Oh, we have two carriers now. Holy crap. Um, Could use more dockyards, too. We really built up the black ball quite a bit, which is kind of impressive in my opinion, but you know, whatever. There you go. But it is what it is. Hermosio? Hermosio. Hermosio. I don't speak Spanish that much at all. I took German when I was in high school, but, you know, it is what it is. Hope y'all just do that. There you go. Very nice. Naval mission efficiency, not bad. As yeah, the subs are gonna do a whole bunch of terror stuff against them convoys and whatnot. Hopefully, at least. And hopefully, we do okay. So there's quite a bit of uh, cavalry around here for now. Good up, fighter ain't bad, but we can keep, keep going for now. Keep going. The fall of Constantinople, the Turks have finally been driven out of Europe. Well, good for them, I guess. Uh, not for the Turks, but for the Greeks. Uh, do we have enough rubber? Yeah, I got enough rubber for now, too. Of course, we do own Liberia, so. And having Texas gives it, giving us all that fuel is very, very nice. 52%, 55%, 52% for skill level. 53% for both now, that and Sea Wolf. So we are most definitely all learning here. 
How much manpower does Mexico have? They're a bunch of totalists. 33,000 manpower. 17 divisions in total. No anti-tank. They have quite a few guns still. Which is fine. Expected. Of course, we're doing some resistance suppression. I've also finished off this Skiggy Airman. Of course, I've purchased some convoys, which honestly doesn't do very much for anybody, really. So, I kind of wish there was more stuff for military stuff. Other than that, we haven't really done too much else. So, kind of a bummer. I mean, once we get Africa and get the cores, we'll be in a lot better position. But for now, there's really not much we can do about it. Scale level 2, 60%. Nice. Pretty good. Uh, you could be smart and go that direction. <clears throat> I'll get there before the tanks do. No! So I'll use a lot of cavalry. Because we can still move pretty quickly down here using them horse boys. There's nothing like a good old horse boy. Also, what did you go with breakthrough for... Or, yeah, more breakthrough, smoke and fire for this one. Um, political loyalty, actually, because I figured that'd be making a lot more sense for role-playing or meta purposes. Because we all gotta be loyal to the sun god Ra. And overwhelming firepower, of course, is very nice, too. Actually, anything here we really get with sub primacy? Sub design cost goes way down. But it's already pretty cheap as is. I like this one. Naval refit yards are very, very good. Naval XP gain is not bad. So. You usually don't finish all that stuff up, but we'll see. It's 41 right now. Mm, keep working on naval stuff. Getting that there, naval stuff done, is uh, super, uh, super importante. Muy importante. Uh, not bad. They've lost 152,000, 16 divisions left. 16,000 manpower left. Very good, very good, very good. I'll go that way. Mazatlan. Mexico has quite a diverse uh, environment. They got deserts in the north and jungles in the south. And I'm sure a whole bunch of other stuff in the center. And a lot of mountains, too. Mexico is quite a... Quite a place. Never been. Probably never go. But you never know. You just never know. Alright. Extraction. It is 41. Artie is the name of uh, the game right now. Guadalajara would be very nice. Chilpasingo and Alcapulco. Very nice. Yucatan, or no, well, I guess Yucatan's the last one I'll take out, but whatever. Probably get encircled, but just keep moving, boys. Via Hermosa. What does the fire mostly mean? Oh, we actually lost this up. That sucks. Oh, they actually have an escort cruiser. Look at that. Leon. Guadalajara will be at Yelisco. Anything else here? No, we have no tank staff. So, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad overall. Just uh, happy, fun times in Mexico, you know. Nothing bad ever happens in Mexico. That's why we're taking them out. Because we want to add that happiness to our country, right? Exactly. If Mexico's happy, we're happy. If Mexico's not happy, then we might still be happy. Slow going here. Because of mud? Well, a lot of it was just mud. Infrastructure sucked. Nice. Taking all them VPs even before we get to the Yucatan Peninsula. Hey, we got them anyways. Um, in all honesty, just... Uh, uh, Mexican states have claims on this one. I should be okay. I guess I'll take all the states then. Even though I, don't, I really honestly don't want to annex them. I just want what we deserve. So, there's that. And you know, I guess we'll call you guys... Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see what happens when what we do next. And now, everyone, basically I just use cons commands to annex Somalia because I have no idea how to get all the way to Somalia to take them out first, especially when a good chunk of North Africa is in the Entente and then we go to war with them immediately. We wouldn't have an army for North America and uh, just be one giant mess. So, 
I had to use Khan's commands. My bad. It is what it is. Dominion of Delhi is doing quite well, though. But regardless, Abyssinia, it's your time to shine. And once we can uh, justify on you, which will be a couple, a couple days, unfortunately. But one snag that we have hit as apparently Egypt uh, was conquered by the Ottoman Empire, which does, does suck quite a bit. Which means we've got to fight the Ottomans. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Actually, I'll probably puppet them. Um, I really don't want to annex all of them because that's a lot of resistance. And we don't have a lot of manpower. I mean, once we get a lot of... Uh, uh, actually, maybe we're them now. French National State, Dominican Republic, Nigerian Free State, Republic of Haiti. Uh, Madagascar, the Republic of South Africa. Yeah, that sucks. I didn't re uh, we had a just award justification on them earlier, but... Oh, hello. Wait, who are we justifying on right now? Oh, Abyssinia, that's right. Uh, you know what? Is there anyone we could just go to war with now? If not... Goringia, oh, we're going to man it up just find everybody, which sucks. But, in the meantime, we do have some comms to go through, such as... Could you do a Netherlands Burgundian route from TNO, or can you do the SS Oldenstadt, but not from the Thousand Week Reich? And the answer to that is, of course, eventually. Why not? Sounds like fun. <clears throat> Someone else says, Peru has a national populous path, and Peru, Bolivia. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool. Someone else says, You understand mechanical hands of the ruler of everything. And someone else says, You should play as a black, Jewish, Afro-American focus tree. Sounds like fun. And someone else said, that They are the guy who coded Sun Ra, and the fact that you actually got the successful round trip in the last video is literally a 10% chance. The majority of the time, the rocket is either lost in space or explodes during takeoff, so... Yeah. Actually, that's really, really cool. So, awesome, awesome, and we'll be back together once we take out the Abyssinian Empire. And here we are at everyone. Now we can go to war with the good old Abyssinian Empire. Now we have no more manpower, of course, which does suck, but hopefully, um, by taking these places out, and we can take the core territories, we get more manpower that way. Uh, 60 days is quite a while. 65 days is even worse. 165. 25. Well, it's just no bueno. Just no bueno. Hopefully we do okay here. We know air superiority yet, but our plan's got to take some time to get over here. Oh, you guys actually are alive. Close air support. There. There you go. Do that. Up next, we got all that stuff done, which is nice. Keep working on some of the ship stuff. That'd be nice. War propaganda. We should do all right here. We've lost tooth. What? How did we kill off 98,000 already? What the heck? Um, okay, well, I'll take it. Not going to ask too many questions if we do that well, but holy shnikes. Logistics 2 is going to be very nice. 42? You don't get even better logistics because fighting the mountains sucks. And when it sucks, it sucks hard. Uh, the other one's doing the Reichs back because Germany just took him out, which is fine. Um, it's not bad. He can probably start doing that too. Start building up a lot of infrastructure around here as well. We got to really build up this African place. Oh, wow. All right, we're doing okay on Mampar now. We'll be okay for a while. Losses for them, 101,000. Jesus Christ. Also, we did pop up Mexico. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like eating them up. I just wanted all of the normal Texas back. That's one of the rare times I will not annex full all of Mexico. We do six more divisions over here against New England. So we'll start building up that army, which would be very, very nice. Um, yeah, overall, we're doing okay. Definitely doing okay. The more states we take, the more manpower we get to. So this is why I want to take out Africa first. Which is unfortunate that we had to use Khan's commands for all this stuff, but you know, it is what it is. It do be what it do be. It be does as it do buzz. Do buzz. So 100,000 manpower, which is why we wanted Ethiopia. A little bit of that there, passive defense, sounds pretty good to me. Doing okay amount of damage as well. More planes, or more factories, which means more planes. Do we, are we out of guns? And go up to go up to ten. More casts. Okay, if you insist. There you go. All right, so we got them all taken care of, which is great. So let's do that, <clears throat> and we'll have to focus on taking out the Ottoman Empire. So be it. So flippin' be it. It's fine with us. We do what we must. Easy conscription. Oh, we're on partial mobilization as well. Okay. We ha now have a crap ton of mad power. Thank goodness. Also, these divisions. Um, where at? These are the guys we're using. And I'll honestly, we could probably use more. Well, put them over here. Oh, there goes Paris. Nice. I have no in interest in taking out the Reich's Pact. At least for now. 
Uh, make him cavalry. Yeah, I'll make him in between. Good enough for now. I don't be bothered with that stuff too much, in all honesty. Shouldn't be too much longer for us to go to war with them. Uh, yeah, two weeks. That's that's honestly pretty good. Supply-wise, we're going to need to fix this up. Air bases. Uh, Bonafide discovery. While on a paleontological dig in the northern Arizona that spared no expense, paleontologist Charles O. Camp, along with Navajo naturalist Jesse Williams, made an exciting new discovery. <clears throat> Digging at the Kenyatta, Ken Akayeta, a formation just 20 miles north of the Tuba City on the Navajo Reservation, the group dug up three sets of fossilized remains of the new carnivor carnivorous dinosaur. While the skeleton was largely complete and, in fact, <clears throat> intact fossilized skeleton with only the front of the skull, Parts of the pelvis and some vertebrae missing, while the other two were far more eroded and fragmentary. Taken to the University of California Museum of Paleontology for study, the specimen has been tentatively named Dilophosaurus weatherelli, and describes a medium-sized predatory theropod hailing from the early Jurassic period, with an estimated size around 23 feet long and adorned with a distinct two-pointed crest atop its head. Some have even speculated it may have had a large frill and was even venomous. But these ideas have been largely decried. The discoveries have been hailed as a miracle of science after the recent chaos in America. For such an atmosphere has made science hard to pursue. May this be a sign of better things to come. What an odd specimen. It will surely deepen our knowledge over time and perhaps even entertain the masses. Let's hope so. Let's see. Hmm. You guys are the 6, and you guys are the 43... 47.3. Holy crap, that's... That might be a bit too thick. Cool. Uh, maybe we'll take this one off. That'll be thick enough as is. Cool. Let's go in and have fun. And they call in all sorts of enemies to call in as well, but no one really cares. You guys? No. Goringia. I thought we were set to get claims on every single nation. Redeem Africa. Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, Old Congo. Oh, get him eventually. Oh, good God. That's going to take so long to do, actually. How the ship's doing, actually. Hey, not bad. Hey, it's really not bad then. You know what's a little ahead of time? That's okay. We'll do that one. Mm, advanced carrier holes. Really bad anti-air. There you go. You try that out for size, maybe. Yes, yes. Can't go to war economy. We actually probably can go down to extensive conscription. I don't want her Oppo to be hurt too much, so. Good so far. Keep building, though. Keep building. We could use it more building. That's why I keep using cavalry now still, just because even though we have some motorized on them. Um, just keep moving. If you possibly can. I was wondering, like, we did not kill that many guys off. We killed about 80,000, 90,000. That's pretty strong. In the end, we can give, like, a lot of the Ottoman territories to Greece. Do they want all of Greece? Do they want all of it? Okay, well, that's the case. They can have the most of this. I don't care. <clears throat> I'll take all the non-Turkish parts of this area here. And we'll take like these guys and Persia and all that stuff, so. It'll take time, but that's alright. Oh, look, it's coming to France. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Khartoum. It's gonna suck biting through all that areas, but that's alright. It'll take time. As it always does. Pretty good. A division got encircled, yay! 
Did not think at the, when I started this campaign that we end up fighting in Egypt. I'm not gonna have a lot of soldiers by the time we're done with them. Logistics three, even better. Oh, engineers, get some better. Normal engineers, holy crap, yeah. Aliyeb? Keep building, building, building. Resistance suppression. At this point, I don't think we need to do that. Let's keep construction. Construction, please. Build, 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 build. Like Bob. Bob the Builder. Literally Bob the Builder. Nice. Just swarm them. Uh... Okay. Jugbub. Alright. God, if you're not using motorized forces through here, you're doing something wrong. Motorized are just horses. Oh my goodness, they're so fast. I love it. <clears throat> Go all the way you can, I guess. Alil? Well. I'll tell y'all to come this way. That'd be fine for now. Um... I think the bigger group would go this way as well. I guess we could just come back over here and stare into them, that's fine. See what you can do about all that stuff over there. I was still pushing up, which is nice. God dang, do we push fast and far? Go in if you can. She'll be able to do it pretty darn easily, in all honesty. Take the ports if you can. Sure, why not? War propaganda sounds like fun. There goes Spain. Spain's killing itself. Where did our normal since we're here? 125 days is going to take quite a while. We're not just fun anybody. That's a mistake. Triple is more like it. Fast defense, not bad. Maybe take out Halil. Help them out, guys. Come on. Aleppo shall, 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 shall be ours. Good job, guys. Uh, I'm not really sure where to send you, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Central African Empire, maybe? I don't know. Follow it up with more extraction? Sure. Wow, we linked up with the Greeks already. Holy crap. The Greeks going to be a little bit of a problem for us, I can already tell. Already. Just in case. I made apartment nice. Back 
Baghdad's capital. No one's moving towards it. That's a mistake. Big German boy. Duchy of Illyria looking pretty thick too. Not bad. Carlos Spain. You know, Britain. Russian Socialist Republic. Took out a bunch of people down here too. Alright. So, where's the capital now? Smyrna? Oh my goodness. I you oh god no no I don't we need we don't need any more enemy on top enemies please for the love of God that and all that's holy please 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 all right We're going to Greece. Oh. You got a lot of claims are all around this area. We'll take the rest of all this stuff. Kingdom of Greece looking not too bad now. Um, who just found out now? Oh, these guys, okay. It's fine. I don't really want to go to the war of Azerbaijan, but that's a good amount of fuel, probably. Levant, Trishul State, Sejaz, Armenia, Levant. Not bad. Of course, war with the Yantan is definitely going to be a necessary step. We are demobilizing, which is not a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Sudan. Medina. Anything else? Give you a little more rubber. Persia. Honestly, I kind of like the way it looks already, but we could use some allies and stuff like that. Levant. Really, Syria. Armenia. Persia. Give it to Shabal of Shemar. Uh, birthday of, of Islam. That means we have to fight them for it. That means we don't have to deal with that for now. Hmm. You know what? No. Persia, I'm okay with liberating Persia. Armenia, not so much. Fate of Levant, okay, we can do that one too. Just because I don't want to deal with that stuff. Oh, the business empire is here now. See, look at that. Oh. Nice. Um, up next after that is these guys, I think. Am I going to war them? I have no idea. Yeah, screw it. Just, I don't want to deal with any more resistance and stuff like that. Should be quick enough anyways. Lebanon and Iraq. Yeah, just give it to them. This, the fate of Iraq. Assyria, Mesopotamian lands. Not bad. Kurdistan? Oh, Republic of South Africa, eh? Kurdistan, eh? Oh, order restored. Oh, that's nice. Give it to Persia. There you go. I like I like this a lot better. I wish it was cord. Or if there's a way for them to get cord, that'd be really nice, but kinda doubt it.
Oh, well, that's not good. Um. Aren't they in the Entente? Well, that's a bunch of crap. At this point, you know, we've tried... Man, because all over here, we don't have defenses over here. That's so dumb. This is just such a wonky path. I think I'm just going to use Consequence to call it a campaign, probably. I mean, I want to be fair and all. Of course, we can't really be super fair, but, you know, that's so dumb. Why did I go to war with this immediately? Why? Hawaii? Hawaiian. Please, just someone finish this. Can I just finish this off fairly? Because the rest of the continent, the U.S. is getting taken out, so. Yeah, that's dumb. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do some cons commands because uh, there's no way I'm going to take these guys all out. There's no way. I'm just, I'm, I'm done with it. I mean, I love this meme path, but, like, conquering them is gonna, uh, not going to happen. I'll be honest, it's not going to happen. So, we'll see this in just a little and bit. And here we have it, everyone. Totally didn't use cons commands to get to this point because I was not going to deal with any of this crap here. Totally didn't use cons commands. But we're redeeming Africa still, which I think I read earlier, but it's all right. Uh, over here, we have redeem Africa. While Pan Africa is under our military control, we need to solidify our political, uh, pull politically and culturally. Many liberal and foolish Africans and leftover imperialists, as well as unwelcome foreigners, this is still will need to be destroyed. Africa will be, will be won. Look at all the cores you get, which, I mean, we can do it legitly, but, like, it would be such a long campaign, and I honestly don't want to deal with playing six hours off screen just to get to one single point, so. There goes Africa. I'm going to go to town. We didn't absorb Haiti, but, oh, well, whatever. I don't really care at this point, because this path is pretty much done. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I have enjoyed it quite a bit, and do this. Oh, that's a lot of manpower. Let's core all of Africa, as you probably honestly should be able to. Not bad, but I wish we could just core more at this point. I was thinking, like, if we could core, like, if we get up to a, a province up to 80%, you should be able to core it no matter what, in a case like this, but... Fortunately, the state uh, chest tool mod doesn't work in Kaiser Redux, at least ver this version I'm using, but hey, if you enjoyed the campaign regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.